Welcome to the Castle Cast! I'm Chris. I'm Heather. Before we get started, guys, make sure you go over to shoemystore.com and use promo code WEHUNTTOGETHER to get 10% off of your whole order. Wow, that's a great deal! I know, right? Also, remember to go over to alltimetoys.com. They're a local store here, Heather, a local toy store. And they are awesome. They have hot toys, they have Funko Pops, they have action figures, they have Transformers, they have Legos, they have everything. If you're local to Maryland, go to Sykesville, Maryland, and check out All Time Toys. But if you're not, go to alltimetoys.com. On this episode of the Gas Cast, we're going to talk about Black Friday, Heather. Okay. You know, like corporate greed, where corporations keep their employees on tap for 24 hours so they can sell $30 air fryers? And like stampedes at Walmart where people are getting injured, maimed, and possible death? And tents set up outside of Best Buy in 30 degree weather so they can get a $200 TV? These are all very important things on Black Friday, Heather. They are. But one thing that has risen over the last couple years are Black Friday Funko Drops. Oh yeah. And this is one year that you're very excited because they drop something that adds to your collection that is really cool. It's really cool. Really cool. FYE release a really super awesome Pennywise box. Now this Pennywise box is awesome. It is. It is a re basically a repainted pop. It is. Which is fine. Well, I mean, yeah. You know, I, I have really mixed feelings on, like, redone pops, like, okay. of the same mold, like, with the Marvel Chromes. Yes. But, this is awesome. This is awesome, and I also love t-shirt bundles. Me too. The t-shirt that came with this thing is awesome. It is awesome, but you know what would make it more awesome? What? Is if FYE actually had it in my size. Yes, that's a weird thing. They only really released weird. it in medium and XL. What was that? I have no idea. You are neither medium or XL. No. Like, I guess Funko just thinks all of their collectors are medium or extra large. There's no small collectors and there's no large collectors. And then there's no, like, 2X collectors. It's just medium and large collectors. My guess is that when they decide to come out with this thing, it was going to be at a later date or something. Something happened with scheduling. Because they would normally have the, the regular Small, size Small, medium, large, extra exactly, large. Exactly, to cover everybody. I, I think they Sometimes they do 2X two two and 3X. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think something happened with scheduling there. Yeah. And they only were able to release the medium in XL. Yeah. Or maybe there was something wrong with the shirt. Who knows? Here's my medium shirt. I'm really excited to wear it. That's an awesome shirt. It is. I love it. And this is actually my very favorite version of Pennywise, the Pennywise Pop. Mm -hmm. With the mouth that's open with the blood around the mouth. Yeah. Any idea why it's black and white? I don't remember him being black and white in the movie. Why are the Marvel Pops chrome? I never saw chrome because Marvel Because Marvel 10 years. It's basically it's gold. It's, you know, signifying that it's a special time, Heather. Okay, what, what, what are you, crazy? What about the Australian chromes? Huh, that was just for a special event. Heather, we're talking about a black and white Pennywise here. Why is he black and white? I figured he would be black and white in the movie. It's because the t-shirt, he is black and white, except there's blood around the mouth that is not on the pop because the pop actually just has a darker gray. Funko just wants to make money, so they made a black and white Pennywise pop because they couldn't come up with a different mold, so they painted him in black and white, and that's it. So, Black Friday corporate greed, Heather? Well, yeah. Well, we gotta show the best part of this. So, here he is! He is awesome. What's interesting though is that he is black and white and the blood isn't on the face as the shirt says that it is. Yeah, it is weird. He, I mean, he does have blood, but it is gray. Yeah, it's gray blood. Which is fine because it's completely black and white. I think if red was on there, it would have really made it oh pop. Oh my god! That would have been really cool. Uh, no pun intended, Heather. It made it pop. You um, know what? I almost want to get a second one just so I can make that custom. Yes. You want to make that happen? Are these, are these hard to get a hold of? Was it a hard one to get a hold of? Do I know? don't know. Our friend was first in line at FYE on Thanksgiving. Ah, now you want to hold up the other one that we have. Yes. That this one is basically made off of. There it is. That's Here the original is. one. So this one also was from FYE. Yeah. This is an FYE exclusive. Mm -hmm. So they're both from FYE. Let's get them up close and personal. Look at that. Aren't they awesome? Can I tell you something that bothers me about the new one? What? His teeth are not white. 
They're off white. Yes, they're like gray. But oh, and this one is white. white. Oh, okay, yeah, see. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, it's not like they're yellowed or anything, you know what in I mean? In fact, what's even crazier, and I didn't notice until right now, these teeth mm -hmm. are separately, they're a separate piece altogether in the mold. They're actually placed in there after. I can see where it has like, it has almost like a little crease in there. Do you see it? There's like a little crease in there, see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually attached, I guess, later on. You can kind of see it. Yeah, so There's like a guy. crease there. Yeah, I so. I don't know if they can see it. Yeah, it's gonna, that one's better to see. That's easier to see, actually. But it looks like a whole other piece that they have to glue in there. Like he's got, um, he's got little Pennywise dentures. Like dentures, yeah, exactly. The other thing we noticed was kind of cool is that the boxes are different. Um, unsure why they decided to make the change and not have it exactly the same on both of the boxes for these particular Pennywises. Yeah. Um, but I personally like this one the most. Yeah. This is my too. favorite artwork. I like the artwork. I kind of wish sure. they did this on all of just the Pennywises. Now the little mm -hmm. kids, they could have had it like this, but the Pennywises all should have been like that in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Or they could have done something even crazier. It would take a lot of pre-planning. And I don't think with the Pennywise variants, they pre-planned any of them. No. But my thought is if they all had some sort of artwork that when you collected them all, it like went together. Oh, that would have been cool. That like, would be really They could have done like a side of a box, almost like a DVD collection or, or a, a Blu-ray collection. But where you put them all together and they make one form one big picture. That would have been really neat if they did that. Yeah. I agree. Something um, else that bothers me about the boxes is that... It's not like a black and white box. This is the old box and his hair's more orange and this is the new one and his hair's more red. Yeah. It's really weird. I noticed that was strange too. Like I don't know why they didn't either make them the same color or just do this one in black and white all together. Yeah, I'm, I'm not it, sure why they went the route that they did with yeah. the box. I'm not like complaining, complaining. It's just weird that they're so like such a harsh difference. One big note though on this guy, I know that he's black and white but he's the first one to have black or I'm sorry, gray eyes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's different because I don't know many of you out there understand or know this, but a lot of the Pennywises came out with blue and green eyes as pictured here. And a lot of them came in the wrong boxes. They would yeah. have blue eyes and they would come in a green eyed box and vice versa. It was like a lot of weird things going on. Yeah, with and, the eyes. Yeah, with the eyes. They, two different chases with different color eyes. Very annoying stuff. We actually got our hands on all of them yeah. now, right? So we have all of them. But I just thought it was interesting that this is the only gray eyed one out there. Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. Weird. This will go with the one that we got. Um, that the Rhode Island con classic Pennywise. Yeah. So that'll be cool. So we have two black and white Pennywise. What do you think of that? Isn't I think that it's awesome? awesome. That's so cool. Aren't you like so lucky that you had me around because I got you that Rhode Island one? Do you remember that? You pressed order, but I PayPal'd you the money. You did? Yeah. Oh, I thought I paid for it. No, I wish you did. I'm a horrible individual. I agree. Guys, what do you think about the new black and white Pennywise? Isn't he awesome? You should agree, because he is really cool. So Let us know in the comments below. Do you like this new Pennywise? Are you adding this one to your collection? Do you collect all the other Pennywises? We would love to know. Guys, remember to go over to our Instagram at GasoCast and check out all of the fun content you can find right on over there. Right, Heather? Right. And also remember, right here on the GasoCast YouTube, hit that like, comment, subscribe, and share button. We would love that. Share us with all your friends. We know they'll love us. Right, Heather? We're very lovable, aren't we? As always, we hunt together. Yes! We will catch you next time. Bye. We hope that you enjoyed this episode of the Gasocast. If so, please hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other fun content. We've left you some links to some of our other videos that we thought you might like. We'll catch you next time. Bye.